Hey, how's it going everyone? Conscienceful here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. I hope your day is going really well and let's get right into it. All right, so for today's video, I wanted to talk about a couple of things that Niantic recently announced. And I really do think that there's going to be an interesting precedent that will be set by these announcements. First and foremost, there's going to be a new in-game event that's going to be happening in the middle of October, and it's going to be called the Magnetic Study Event. This event is not going to have any kind of special wild spawns or new Pokemon or any kind of shiny debut. It's going to be focusing on event bonuses, which are going to be rotating, as well as field research tasks. And I'm really curious to see how the Pokemon Go community is going to react to this one. It's definitely going to feel very different from what we're used to when it comes to in-game events, and I'm very curious to see if this will end up being a success. One of the things that I've always said is that when it comes to in-game events, they tend to take over too much when it comes to wild spawns, like if it's themed around a certain type of Pokemon, that you will only see those Pokemon rather than some of the general spawns. But this time around, they're not going to be switching up the wild spawns and instead just focusing on event bonuses. And I really do think this could be something interesting for Pokemon Go. The Magnetic Study event is going to be an electric Pokemon themed event that's going to be starting on Tuesday, October 15 at 12 o'clock a.m. local time. And it's going to go until Thursday, October 17 at 11.59 p.m. local time. This event is going to feature a bunch of bonuses. The first bonus is that throughout the event, you're going to have an increased chance at encountering Shiny Magnemite, Shiny Plus Soul, and Shiny Minoon. And then Magnetic Lure modules are more likely to attract these event-themed Pokemon. In addition, each day we will have different special bonuses that will be active from 12 o'clock a.m. to 11.59 p.m. local time of that day. On October 15, we're going to get double the amount of experience when we catch Pokemon. And then on October 16, we're going to get 50% more experience from raid battles. And then on October 17, we're going to get double the Stardust when we catch Pokemon. Now during this event, there's going to be a new timed research every single day of this event, and each one is going to give you different rewards. The first one that's going to be happening on October 15 is going to reward you with an encounter with the Pokemon Plus Soul, and then you're going to get 5,000 experience and 2,500 Stardust. And then on October 16, you're going to get an encounter with the Pokemon Magnemite, and you're going to get one Magnetic Lure. And then finally on October 17, you're going to get an encounter with Minoon, and then you're going to get 5,000 experience and 2,500 Stardust. And if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny of any of these three Pokemon from this timed research. And do keep in mind that you are going to have an increased shiny chance during this event. Now, another major emphasis of this event is going to be field research tasks. When you complete event themed field research tasks, you're going to have encounters with Magnemite, Plus Soul, and Minoon. And once again, these Pokemon are going to have an increased shiny chance during this event. So if you want a shiny of any of these Pokemon, then make sure you go out and complete as many field research tasks as you possibly can. And yeah, that's pretty much all the content for this Magnetic Study event. There's not going to be a Pokemon debut or a new shiny, and they're not even switching up the wild spawns. I mean, there is a possibility that this event is going to overlap with another event that is unannounced or they're just simply trying something new. And this could be a precedent for a new kind of event that they throw every so often. There's been a lot of feedback in the past regarding wild spawns not being that great and how they just dominate all of the spawns that you typically get. And this could possibly be an adjustment based on that feedback. But regardless, it's going to be all about those field research tasks. If you want a shiny of any of these three Pokemon, Magnemite, Plusle, and Minoon, then you will want to complete as many field research tasks tasks as you possibly can. So yeah, my overall thoughts, I'm kind of neutral on it. I really do not necessarily care for special wild spawns or new Pokemon or a new shiny. I just wanted to see something fresh for Pokemon Go, and maybe this is going to be just that. As players do their daily grind, some of these bonuses are definitely going to help. And I think in general, it will be nice for them to not have any kind of wild spawn shakeup while we just grind through our day with Pokemon Go. There's certainly a lot of Pokemon within the seasonal rotation that are actually useful, and I'm glad that they're going to be continuing to spawn while this event is happening. Now, this Magnetic Study event is not the only thing that Niantic recently announced. They also stated that some costume Pikachus are going to be returning at the end of this year with the Wild Area event. These Pikachus are going to be the Rockstar Pikachu along with the Popstar Pikachu. I believe they made their debut from Pokemon Go Fest 2019, whichever one it was with Meloetta. 
And this time around, they're going to be returning with their shiny forms as something you can get. And I think that's quite exciting because when it comes to these specific Pikachus, I think they are incredibly popular and some of them are even the favorites for some players. And getting the shinies of any of these Pokemon are definitely going to be worthwhile. And then on top of these two Pikachu making their return to Pokemon Go, they are also going to be debuting a new costume Snorlax. And I actually think this is a really cool looking Snorlax. And you can potentially get the shiny form of this Snorlax as well. So I'm really glad that they're debuting it with the chances of you getting the shiny. Yeah, both of these definitely up the ante when it comes to the Wild Area event. I think one of the biggest complaints of this event is that you're not really getting anything too special and too unique when it comes to the ticket price. It costs roughly the same as a Pokemon Go Fest or a Pokemon Go Tour event, and players feel like when it comes to the special Pokemon that you can catch, it was severely lacking. But there you go. They're going to be bringing in two costume Pikachus, which are incredibly popular and also debuting their shiny forms. And they're also going to be providing a new special costume Snorlax. So I definitely think this is going to up the value of these tickets. So yeah, these announcements are actually pretty good in my opinion. And I do think that for Pokemon Go, it's definitely going to create a lot of hype and a lot of buzz, especially when it comes to those costume Pokemon with the Wild Area event. It's going to make that event feel unique and somewhat sensitive sentimental for a lot of players. It's definitely going to be interesting considering that they're trying out a lot of new things and that's something that I both support and I'm also against. I feel like when it comes to Pokemon Go, I do think they need to focus in on what's already there and what needs fixing. But at the same time, I do like the idea of them trying out new things to keep the game fresh because as of right now, it does feel like the gameplay is quite stale. So. For Niantic to try out new things, I'm always in favor of it, but at the same time, I really do hope they fix up the game because stuff like PvP and raid battles, they feel incredibly broken right now, and I really do want them to be polished up, especially before we have these special in-game events. But yeah, in any case, that's essentially going to be it for this video. Now, let me know your thoughts regarding everything that I talked about down below. Are you excited for the return of Popstar Pikachu and Rockstar Pikachu? What do you think about the new Snorlax? Are are you going to be excited about the Wild Area event as a result of these Pokemon being a part of it? Or do they not move the needle for your excitement? Definitely share your thoughts on why or why not in the comments and let's have a great discussion. Also give me your thoughts regarding the Magnetic Study event as well. And that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I will catch you in the next one. Another,